skilled in the word of righteousness. We all go through battles, all forms of battles, health battles, family battles, financial battles. In fact, I don't think there's any Christian who is not going through some battle in their life. And if you are not going through battles, you either have come through out of a battle, um, uh, or maybe you're going into a battle. <laughs> and some of you are right in a battle. But uh, it's part of Christianity. And you're going to have to be skilled in the word of righteousness. Because that's the only thing that will give you the ability to live an overcoming life. Hebrews verse 8 to verse 14. Though he was a son, Jesus Christ, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Quite, a, quite an amazing thing of Jesus, that he learned obedience by the things he suffered. That's why you know your obedience when you go through some tough times, whether you still obey God or not, or whether you're obeying God for the money, or obeying God for the glitz and the glamour, or you're really obeying God because you love God. Jesus even went through the cross. He learned obedience by the things that he suffered. Very powerful statement. I'm still learning more and more about that. And because of that, being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him, called of God and high priest after the order of Melchizedek, of whom we have many things to say, and hard to be uttered, seeing you are dull of hearing. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teacher again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God and have become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For every one that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are full age, even to those who by reason of use have their senses exercised and to discern both the good and evil. Praise God for his word. So just as we have in the natural uh, babies and we have people of full age and the children are in children's church and we are here in adult church and um, so it is in the spiritual. And there are things that babies can be given as gifts, but I could never go and play around with those gifts. I've gone far beyond those gifts. The things I need for my life are far beyond what children actually need for their lives. Uh, no human being can fully satisfy your need. And so we need God. And so here the scripture is saying, that if you're a babe, you actually need the milk of the word. Some people are saved for many years, but they're still babies. That means they cannot be given by God, who has given them already, but he cannot release things that belong to people of full age to them, because some of these things will destroy them. And so we need to be of full age to fully enjoy these precious benefits of God. It's important for us to be skilled in the word of righteousness because those that are full age have become skilled. And you know skilling, to be skilled even in the natural, comes out of use, reason of use having their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. And so to be skilled in anything, whether it's a natural job, when I was a panel beater, a motor car trimmer, I had to go through apprenticeship and had to learn how to be skilled because you can have the knowledge and go to school and get the degrees. But uh, when you're facing the job, 
is a bit different. You can know the, the knowledge of something, but it's something quite else. Even I think if you're a doctor, you've got to go to a hospital to, to go through a period of time. If you're going to be a chartered accountant, you've got to go through a period of time where you're going to and become skilled because there is a skill that comes out of experience that goes beyond knowledge. It's a total different thing when you know about something compared to when you know something. And so uh, God wants us to be skilled in the word of righteousness because we all go through some difficult seasons in, in our lives. Now, being skilled in the word of righteousness, why does God want us to be skilled in the word of righteousness? Because this word of righteousness is a word of faith. It's a word of faith. And we're called to live by faith. And if you have not lived by faith before you got into trials of faith or you have not been tested. Whatever test you're going to go through, health, you're not going to be as healthy or as young as you are all your life. Your marriage, <laughs> there's no guarantees in relationship. Make no mistake, the only guaranteed relationship is is God. So being skilled in the word of righteousness is really for the purpose of communicating your righteousness. If you don't know how to communicate your righteousness, righteousness is your right standing in God. Now Philemon chapter 1 verse 4, uh, Paul writing to this runaway slave he says, I thank God making mention of thee always in my prayers. He says, hearing of thy love and thy faith, which thou hast towards the Lord Jesus and towards all saints. So in this matter of having faith, or communicating your faith, or being skilled in the word of righteousness, it does mean we have faith towards the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the first thing you must understand, that your faith is not first for things. Then the things will follow you when your faith is for the Lord Jesus Christ first. So the Bible says you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. I thank my God making mention of thee always in my prayers, hearing of thy love and faith which thou hast towards the Lord Jesus and towards all the saints. If you keep Jesus Christ first, your love towards Jesus, then your love towards all the saints, when you go through the trial, that's what will keep you. You may not need that when you're not in the war. But when you're in the war, you're going to need that. Your love and your faith towards the Lord Jesus. But then right there, towards all the saints. So that's the cross there. And this is what he says, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. So your faith towards the Lord Jesus that works by love towards all the saints has to be communicated. It has to be communicated and you communicate it by what is in you. But you're gonna to have to acknowledge every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus. Then Paul says to this 
young man, runaway slave, whom he loves so much. And he says, for we have great joy and consolation in thy love. Love is such a powerful force. And he says, because the bowels of the saints are refreshed by thee, brother. When you are involved in love that can go through all seasons, the deepest part of you that can say, I'm refreshed, I'm refreshed deeply inside by your love. My bowels are refreshed by your love, brother. Now, this communication of your faith must become effectual. The word effectual means must be able to produce. Now, communication is simply the act of transferring information from one person, one place or person to another. You see, that's what's going to happen. When you get into a trial, you get into war, you're going to have to communicate your faith. So you're going to have to become skilled in doing that before you have a problem. Or if you get saved when you're in a problem, then, you know, you're going to have to just... That's the way God designed it for you. You get thrown into the deep end of the water before you know how to swim. And thank God you're in a place where you're going to be taught to swim. And so the, he says, uh, the, the communication, I got this from the dictionary, communication is simply the act of transferring information from one place or person to another. I think I would say from one place or thing or person. You communicate what is in you from one place to another place. It's a means of transferring your faith, transferring your love to a thing because you're going to have to move some mountains or to a person. You're going to have to express your love towards a person, even when things are not working out right. 